and check the van out, all right? Beautiful van, love these. We are not on mains power, all right? I'll show it to you, I will not edit this. 15 amp input, ready to go, all right? I'm gonna walk straight in. This has a projector 2000 watt inverter that has been factory fitted to this. Good job, um, but you know, I'll show you some things. So, the way they've done it, it is the older model. No, it's not actually. I don't know why they didn't use the transfer switch in this one, but nonetheless, anyway, this model has a transfer switch, so they really should have used that, but hey, they didn't. Anyway, so, projector 2000 watt inverter, all right? Leave that on. So, put the remote there. And what they've done is they've done it the old way. They've, they've put the, the changeover switch up here. There's the output, all right? So changeover switch. So for you guys that don't understand how it works, the way it works is you're basically using this as a selector switch between the 15 amp input on the side of the van, right? And the inverter. It, it's, it's basically two power sources come into this and then one comes out. And then they wire it to this GPO on it um, through the GPOs and through the breaker. Now... I'll show you something. <laughs> Remember what I said to you guys about my other videos where there are certain things that should not run from the inverter and the most important one that should not run from the inverter, the most important GPO, is that one. That one is your battery charger. Check this out. All right. All right. Oh, I should got my little test light there. Uh-oh. <laughs> so you can see the problem. For those of you that don't know, I'm going to tell you. That GPO should not run from the inverter. Well, that's on. So that's what we call the infinite loop of power. You can't create power. So right now what's happening, guys, is the inverter is pulling power from the batteries. Okay? Supplying the battery charges GPO. The battery charger is trying to charge the batteries. The battery is running the inverter. The inverter is running the charger. The charger is charging the battery. The I could sit here all day and do this. You can see it's, you draw out the schematic. It can't happen. And funny enough, where's that clamp meter, right? There we go. Well, the other thing too is, uh, they haven't put, uh, oh look, we're definitely not charging guys. <laughs> so they haven't installed, so they haven't installed the shunt, all right? So the BM Pro systems need an external shunt, right? A 250, 300 amp shunt to monitor high current devices, such as inverters. This one has not had one installed, otherwise you would see a discharge here of about 50, 50 odd amps. But look, we're charging. That's impossible. Absolutely impossible. Charging at a 30 amp rate at, I don't know, seven in the morning <laughs> with 160 watts of solar? Nah. I'll show you the problem. What have we got here? We'd be, yeah, you know, I did say, I did say 50. So we are pulling 46.8, 47 odd amps because that GPO upstairs is on. So that infinite loop. Now I'll pull, I'll pull that. All right, and that number will go back to one or two amps, just standby current. What oh, else have I, uh... sorry guys, there we go, there you go, standby current. That's what's supposed to happen, all right? You're supposed to be able to turn this inverter on and off, oh, yeah, there we go. I forgot I've got the uh, projector on so I can, we can use this to show low. So what's that? So that's standby current, 1.7 watts, which would be probably the microwave in standby. Um, so I'll put this back in, right? And you watch that. Oh, that's so wrong. So 50 amps, it's gonna jump up quite significantly. But this is free camping, guys. So this is the problem with when people don't know what they're doing. There you go, look at that charger just kicked in. It'll kick back in again. This is what happens when people do jobs and don't understand the system. I mean, that's power going nowhere, guys. So these poor, these poor people are picked up this van. You know, they've 
I've been told, yeah, it's got an inverter and, you know, you press that button, factory fitted, you know, and bang, the microwave comes on. Yeah, it does. But because of this infinite loop of, you know, power going nowhere, look at that. 490 odd watts doing absolutely nothing, draining your batteries. You know, it's only 240 amp hours of lithium. So they left that on for an hour. I mean, <laughs> just silly, absolute silly. And more to the point, I've just found out there's no external shunt installed, which is why I have no, I can't see that, um, that current draw here. Um, anyway, go on, Matt to the rescue. I'm going to add a heap of solar to this thing, guys. I'm going to put an external shunt on. I'm going to rewire and do this properly so it actually functions as it's supposed to. Um, so once again, three main items that must not run from an inverter. Number one, battery charger. All right, you can't create power from nowhere. So that's the first GPO that needs to be before the inverter. Number two, three-way fridge if you've got one. Okay, the GPO for the three-way fridge, if it's an automatic fridge, must not turn over to inverter when you turn the inverter on. It should remain on gas, all right? In this case, it's a compressor fridge, so we don't have to worry about that. Number three, hot water service, all right? If you've got a suburban hot water service, um, if you, well, that's even ramped up. If you've got a suburban hot water service or a swift hot water service, um, if you don't have any manual control with a switch for the hot water service, then its GPO must be before the inverter. Why? Same deal. If these things are accidentally left on, I'll we'll say accidentally, let's say we leave these things on because when you plug mains power in, you just want your, your fridge to turn over to mains and your battery charger to come on. So those are the ones that are usually left on. Hot water service is usually controlled. Because, you know, you shouldn't have a hot water service on with no water in it. Either way, mains charger, three-way fridge, hot water service GPO, they must be before the inverter, not after it. And then you won't have any dramas. So I will fix this and better this situation. Enjoy that, guys.